Hello and welcome to online sessions of Electrical Machines 2. I, Mrs. Shraddha Banode from Department of Electrical Engineering, St. Vincent Pelletri College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. Electrical Machines 2 is the part of fifth semester syllabus which basically consists of synchronous machines that is synchronous generator and synchronous motor. It is in continuous with the electrical machines one which we have learned in fourth semester where in detail we have studied transformers, DC machines and induction motors. Here in synchronous machines we are going to concentrate on synchronous generators and motors. Now exactly synchronous generators are the main primary source of electricity generation we consume today. They are also called as alternator. It converts mechanical power which is derived from steam in steam power stations or in hydropower stations through hydraulic turbine whatever mechanical power is derived synchronous generator converts it into AC electric power. Large AC power networks which are there depends on synchronous generator. Similarly synchronous motors are mainly used in industries where large units are required. Induction motors are cheaper for smaller ratings of course but for high ratings and for constant speed drives synchronous motors are used. Let's talk about the construction of synchronous machine. Constructionally it is of basic it consists of basic two parts its stator and rotor. Stator is the stationary part of the machine. Three phase winding is bounded on the slots which are present on the stator. Another part is rotor. DC excitation or DC supply which is given to the machine winding is bounded on rotor. As the name suggests, rotor is the rotating part of the machine and stator is the stationary part of the machine. Let's try to understand the windings properly. The windings which is present on the armature that is stator, stationary winding, these are three phase windings which are connected either in star or delta. As I told you, stator is the stationary part of the machine. Hence, the armature winding which is wounded in the slots of the stator are also stationary. Stator is made up of steel laminations having slots on the inner periphery of it. The slots of course to have the conductors assembled inside it. The windings which are wounded on stator that is the armature winding are 120 degree apart and normally they are distributed type. This figure gives us approximate idea of how the alternator and its windings are. Now here if you concentrate on this portion it is the stator of the machine where this A, B and C are the three phase windings. For the understanding purpose it is shown like A the winding at 0 degree, B winding 120 degree apart, C winding again 120 degree apart but normally this windings are of distributed types means this windings are distributed along the periphery of the stator. 
Now this is the example of the rotor which is there, which is free to rotate inside the area of the stator. This waveform, red, yellow and blue, are nothing but the waveform of the three-phase current which will be flowing in the stator winding. What is field winding? The winding which is mounted on the rotor is called field winding. What is its purpose? It is used to produce magnetic field. When it is energized with a DC source, it allows DC current to flow through it and that current is responsible for production of magnetic field. That is also called as field current or rotor current which is given by Vf upon Rf where Vf is the voltage given to the field winding and Rf is the resistance of the field winding. Rotor. As I told you, rotor is the rotating part of the machine but there are two types of rotor. Accordingly, we can classify are alternated also into two types. So the rotor are classified as first cylindrical rotor and second salient pole rotor. Now let's try to understand what is cylindrical and what is salient. In this diagram which is shown here, the outer periphery of both the samples are same. This is nothing but the stator. Similarly, this is nothing but the stator. Slots you can see here are nothing but the inner periphery of the stator which is there for the assembling of armature winding. So you can see the stator slots are similar in both the cases. While if you concentrate on the rotor part, this rotor is somewhat like in the inner periphery of the stator. It means it is of cylindrical type and its outer periphery we have slots for the field winding so that the field winding can be mounted on it. On the other hand, in salient pole you will find the rotor is not like a cylindrical type but the two poles of the rotor are of protruding type. Yes, salient means projecting, salient pole means projecting poles. So the pro poles are projecting itself out and that is why these are called as salient pole rotor. Salient pole rotor are used generally for low speed or medium speed alternator. It has large number of projected poles. We can start from two number of poles to many number of poles but always in pair. Poles are also laminated to minimize the eddy current. This rotor types are of large diameter but short in axial length. This is the example of four pole, sal four pole salient pole rotor where we have these are the four poles you can see the alternate poles on this south north south and north here is the actual picture of stator how it looks like this is the stator there are the slots inside and in these slots we have armature winding kept here right and this is the example of salient pole rotor here you can see it is looking like cylinder but if you concentrate, this is the shaft and this is salient pole, protruding type of pole. So this is a picture of four pole machine where we have four salient pole, one, two, three and four on this side. Another type is cylindrical type of rotor that is non-salient pole. Cylindrical types of uh, rotors are used for high speed alternators. It consists of, it is a smooth solid like structure and it has slots on its outer periphery for the field winding. This is an example of 
cylindrical rotor you will find there are no protruding poles but as the field windings are placed in this in this slots automatically the four poles are generated hence clearly in this picture we can see four pole cylindrical rotor this is the actual picture of cylindrical type of rotor here you can see the stator stator of both the rotors will be same there will be no difference in the stator but the rotors are different yes cylindrical rotors are so big in size actually when it works for power stations so let's summarize whatever we learn in this particular video synchronous machines constructionally consist of two main parts that is stator and rotor rotors are again classified into cylindrical as well as well as salient pole rotor so let's first of all try to understand here you can see this is the stator which is the stationary part and you have slots in the inner periphery of the stator right these are the slots and what these slots are for these slots are for keeping the armature winding inside when this armature conductors are kept in these slots and of course because this all the conductors are connected it forms a winding so we can say armature winding or armature conductors so these are the armature conductors which are placed in the slots of the stator okay and this is the stationary part of the machine next comes the rotating part of the machine that is rotor and here i have shown rotor with the outer periphery slots which is of course generally an example of cylindrical type of rotor this rotor is free to rotate on the shaft hence what exactly it is doing when the rotor is rotating as well as it is having magnetic field inside it that magnetic field is moving across this conductors hence this conductors are cutting the magnetic field and when there is a rate of change of magnetic flux across the conductor emf gets induced that is the basic principle of working of this alternator now let's take an example of cylindrical type of rotor let's say the two types are cylindrical and salient so first of all this is the cylindrical type of rotor yes previously also i have shown you cylindrical type of rotor but here i have drawn the slot in such a way that the cylindrical type of rotor are of two poles north pole and south pole and when the mechanical energy is given to this cylindrical type of rotor it start its rotation hence the conductors are cutting the magnetic field and hence the emf is getting induced in the conductors next let's take an example of salient pole type so now we will try to have with the same stator with the same armature winding we will have salient pole rotor here now here i have considered this four pole salient pole rotor which is free to rotate in the periphery of stator and now it is rotating the flux which is produced because of this rotor is cut by the armature conductors and hence emf gets induced this is how alternators or synchronous generator works this video was basically to understand the construction of alternators the working principle and other parameters we will see in our next video in detail thank you